We are back. And per usual, this is Bonding with Boogie with the Precious Perspective. And it's your boy Boogie Ogun here, a.k.a. him. Mm -hmm. Himothy. Okay. Him for knee. Mm. Him the G. Mm. Him who doesn't hide. Him who seeks. Mm. Him with the shortest arms. Him still with the longest reach. Sure. And I got my brother here. Precious, we here with a precious perspective per usual, and we got a plus, we got a bonus. We got somebody here with us today. She came to one of our open mics at the gallery, Beverly Hills Art Gallery that is, smoked it. So of course we had to bring her through and come through, bonded with Boogie with a precious perspective. So I give you the Chrissy Project. The Chrissy Project, Tell, okay. yes. Tell the people. Well, what it, only, yeah. I am a project and so are you. Tell them where they can find you. You can actually find me on Instagram, The Chrissy Project. I will be starting the TikTok soon, and I will let you guys know. But you can find me on Instagram at The Chrissy Project, and that is The Chrissy spelled with the K. Mm. Follow me. I do follow back. I was just about to ask you, is it Chrissy with a K or is it Chrissy with the C? Yes. So you, you let the people know. Yep. And uh, starting off, I want to ask... Where did that name come from, the Chrissy Project? That's a that's a, a unique name. When I first heard it, I was like, I wonder where that name came from. Everybody got stories behind their names. Where did that where did that name come from? Um, okay, so when I was in college, I always wanted to make a brand for myself. I studied public relations in college. I mean okay. I graduated, I got my degree in public relations, so it's like my first goal was to always make a brand out of myself. Okay. Right. Because that's what you start off as. You know, you okay. got to brand yourself. You got to brand yourself to these jobs, to corporate. You got to brand yourself to people. Okay. So that's for one. You got to brand yourself. I mean, it's always that I've, that I've just learned, of course. I wanted to brand myself. So back in college, it was just an Instagram handle that I changed to and I knew it was going to be something. And I will be starting a blog soon. So, and I will also let all my followers, anybody that supports, know that my blog will be coming up soon. That is to be denounced. But yeah, uh, so that was going to be my blog name. Yeah, the Chrissy maybe Project. something different. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you say the Chrissy Project has been the name for a while now. It has. I'm, God, so and it was just like a random thought or like a years, random. If you and it was, I'm sorry to cut you off, but it, oh, no. it, it's like a, not really a random thought. I was thinking about it. Like I said, it was going to be, a, it's a blog. It's a blog. And I'm like, what do I do? The at Chrissy first, Project. at first I saw Foundation, the Chrissy Foundation. Like, hey, good one. But I'm not quite a foundation. I'm a project mm. because I feel like, one, I'm still evolving. Mm. But we all are. For sure. So, Projects. you know, I'm a project. But also, at the same time, you know, you do what you can to get a to get a good-ass grade on that project. Mm. To make it a masterpiece. So, what I'm also saying is that I'm a masterpiece. Mm. So, you're trying to get an A-plus on that project. Yes. Yeah, they gotta be a project you working on by yourself because that group project should be Cooked. everywhere. Yeah, shit. Hey, it's always one nigga on that group project. He ain't doing nothing. Y'all done got an F on that bitch just because he ain't do his part. Or, or y'all done drug this nigga to a good grade. Fuck is you talking about? Y'all got a C plus. And then y'all would have been a B minus if he nah, would have stepped in. Low. Can I work with no damn group? Yeah, Dang. for sure. For That's sure. So with that being said, okay. I appreciate the the name given. Um, first and foremost, like I said, we met at the um the art gallery, the Beverly Hill Art Gallery, in which it'll be more more projects and more open mics and more pop up shops coming uh soon. And like I said, we'll get into that later. But that's what we met at. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you came with Chef Gabrielle. I did. Yeah, yes. for sure. Shout out to Chef Gabrielle. Shout out to, Shout out to Chef Gabrielle. And, 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 and Chef she Gabrielle. Put me on this shit and yeah, everything. and Chef Gabrielle has brought people to us. You know what I'm saying? And she brought you guys there. So we yes. appreciate Chef Gabrielle for that. And dope. She's a dope person all the way around. Um, 
how long have you been writing? How long have you been doing poetry? How long have you been hitting the open mics and doing your thing? She okay, said, wow. Let me answer them like in order. <laughs> you were young. I'm knowing you're going to say you were young because. I, I was young as hell. I mm. feel like I've been writing since I was four. So basically, I've been writing since I started writing. Oh, shit. A, ru a rug will, rat. <laughs> Tommy if, Pickles. <laughs> if you will, I've always had, like my mom said, a wild imagination. Okay. Because I would just make up these stories. I would just make up these stories for no reason. And most of these stories were dumb, but they were very creative. Mm. They should... were really... I made up some ghetto shit. Some about fun. some ghetto shit. But they were really creative. A lot of people really got a kick out of them. When I first started, like... I mean, like I said, that was just some random shit I used. Like I said, just writing stories. Um. So, yeah. I've been writing since I was four. But man, it also... Writing also comes with a lot of reading. I mean... I used to sneak in my mom's diaries, so oh, I shit. used to so I used to read as well, if that makes sense. And I need to read more now. Facts. And, and re with reading, like I said, we've discussed this on this show. Uh, our mother was big on reading. You know, even when you were in school, out of school, and yep. reading. I think reading uh, helps a lot, especially when you're into the craft of what we're crafting. Reading most definitely helps a lot, but you say you, you've you been writing since you were four. So I guess my next question is, when did you start writing? And at four, you know, people tell you you wrote at four. You may or may not remember what you wrote at four. When did do. you? I do, actually. I don't even want to know. I'm slightly <laughs> intrigued to find out what you wrote at four. But we just go skip and ask, when did you start writing and... And maybe it was four when you start noticing that, like, I do this. I could really do this. But when did you start writing and being confident enough to express it to others? Man, okay. It has been since college. And like I said, when I, I remember I changed my major to public relations. I've always been writing. At first I was television. I mean, it was writing and production. Broadcast journalism. I always wanted to write. At first I thought of maybe just doing journalism. Mm. Public relations involve a lot of writing. That's why I went into public relations. I've been writing press releases since like college and shit like that. They all been public. They all been published. But I'm not sure where. Um but um as far as poetry and the shit that I do now, um man. They actually, to be honest, they all came from my journal entries. Facts. So that's been since, if you will, high school. Okay. So, uh, yeah, journal entries. I mean, and I mean, a lot of things that I write about since high school is has been love. I Facts. write about, I'm a hopeless romantic, so I write about that. Hopeless romantic shit. <laughs> Facts. I'm going I'm to go in and jump in and ask, and... I guess, how does that transfer over going from journaling to spoken word? Because a lot of times with your journals, or at least I know for my process, those are my intimate thoughts, you feel me, that right. I may not be trying to share. So right. how do you find yourself in a space where these journals become maybe pieces or inspiration for pieces? Like, how do you get comfortable enough to share those thoughts? <sighs> Um, it actually takes a lot of courage. I'm actually, to be honest, I'm actually still not comfortable. Okay. I, I'm nervous right now. Oh, not, man. Not You're doing great. You're so, doing great. You're doing great. I, mean, I would have never knew. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it, it takes a lot of courage for one. Courage is really hard. I don't even, I don't know what I'm doing to be honest, to explain it to you. Uh, but also what, what I always think about is if y'all see the movie, I'm a I'm a huge rap fan. Okay. So that's what that's another reason why. What I'm movie like. are you about to say? Straight out of Compton. Okay. Okay. Facts. Great movie. Um, and I think it was was an Ice Cube character that told a, a journalist that you're a journalist. I'm a journalist too. Basically, I tell the story of the hood. On oh, me. I'm I'm. 
another thing is as an artist it's not just the story of the hood they're telling their story so you're telling your story overall as an artist right. so i'm telling my story as right. a journalist and mm-hmm. basically i'm telling you what i hear like journalisms they can they can like journalists they can actually put out certain things to dictate what the public hear right. a lot of times that's what that's us what artists they say they are do. doing. So, you, you just gonna say something, Boogie? I was about to ask her. Um, she was talking about the confidence thing, and uh, I saw you at a poetry slam or open mic. And you went up there. So, what are, are you really shy? Or are you just say you shy? To you? Cause like <laughs> you I said, I saw I, I, to it. You know what I'm saying? You, I'm saying you went up there. No. You know what I'm saying? You would have usually shy people. They gonna sit back, relax, and chill. Okay, okay. Is this something when it comes to... Because even when you write, it's a shy thing because some so, certain people write and keep things to themselves. Oh, me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So is it... Like I said, you went up there, so was it something to where you felt like, I need this to be heard? Or you, were you were you feeling the vibes that day and was like, you know, I'm going to get up there? Because like, you say you shy, but you, you went up there, you did your, your thing, and it wasn't... You know what I'm saying? It didn't... It didn't seem shy to me. You know what I'm saying? Wow, at the open mic, that was I was actually running on time. So I actually should not have done two pieces. But you did. But you I mean, pieces. it's like also when I it's like one thing, I like making people laugh. Um and I know my pieces are because I'm funny. <laughs> In a way, I a lot of people say I'm funny and I see it now, but I mean, in my pieces, I, I'm, I I would say some shit that, wow, that I'm realizing, wow, that, wow, people are actually really, that I'm noticing people really fucks with. I'm like, okay. Yeah. So it's like, that's what keeps me going. And it's like, it's my story. So it's like, I want to share my story somehow. That's why I've always said, it's like, with your story, whatever you go through, you share it somehow. Somehow. I don't know how. And all of a sudden, I just did it just by spoken word. I'm like, wow. It's the connection. It's the relation. It's the it's the it's the what I'm on here talking about that that you're thinking or feeling. I'm up here talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Which will inspire you. Like it'll be it'll be somebody up, it'll be somebody up there doing their thing. It'll be somebody up there doing their thing, and they doing their thing, and you you feeling it. You know what I'm saying? So. And you might be a person who write. Like, I got people that hit me up. Like, yo, bro, I've been, I do the poetry thing. I like the spoken word thing, but I'm not, I'm not good with public speaking. And I told them the only way you're going to get good with public speaking is public speaking. speaking you know what I'm saying? Speaking publicly. <laughs> I got, and that's exactly what I told them. That's exactly what I told them. I said, that's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, some people got it. And I'm a person that got it. I don't mind talking. I could talk to, Everybody here. I could talk to ten more people here. I could talk to a thousand people. I'm not. I'm not a nervous dude when it comes to speaking at all. I was just gonna say poetry, but if it come to just talking and have a conversation, I can do that. You know what I'm saying? So, and I know it's some people who can't, or it's some people who, like I say, are shy, or you know, they that's just not their thing. So that's why, like I said, you said you a shy individual. It kind of, you know, it kind of shocked me because, you know, you went up there and you did your thing. You know what I'm saying? But I guess when a person up there doing their thing, you don't know if they shy or not. You know what I'm saying? Because you did you did well enough not to show a shy emotion. You did well enough just to, you know, go up there and kick your shit. And you did two pieces. Like I said, you didn't even do one. You know what I'm saying? So I applaud that. You know what I'm saying? Because for you to say that you shy, you 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 for you to go up there and do two pieces, that's you know it, it's it's confidence that you don't know that it lies within you. But then again, you do because you jumped there and you did it. You know what I'm saying? So and that's why I was gonna cut in and ask, uh, where do you find yourself ch- channeling that courage from that you spoke spoke of? Because yeah. obviously, like you said, being maybe more so shy. Knowing that, like bro just said, public speaking is something that yeah. a lot of people are terrified right, of. Right. So with that being said, where does that source come from? Where does your ability to just go for it? Okay. 
Well, well, let me shout out to my group. Okay. Paul's Perspective Network. Okay. It actually came from, man, okay, so my two friends, shout out to Go Find Mars, shout out to, shout out to Cloud Nine. I mean, it's, it's one, seeing them do their shit. Okay. Seeing facts, them, I facts, mean, and the they're family. so talented. They're so talented. And I mean, at first I felt like I was just sitting on my ass and I mean, they're, Wow, they're going. I mean, especially one friend go find Mars. I'm like, damn, she's going. Um, I mean, both of them actually, but they're going, and I'm like, okay. And then also, that's also where I find. That's also where I found. You know, also so many other great, so many other great artists. And what, one Such, more time, what's the name of it? Uh, the fullest perspective network. Fullest perspective. So you say, yes. was it was it inspiration? It it was inspiration. Definitely going out to their open mics oh. and I mean their bonfires, which is every second and fourth Friday, Saturday. Um, is definitely. Is it gonna be one this Saturday? Do you know? It is one this Saturday. Okay. Let me know what time. I have things set up for that day, but I'm I'm kind of I'm into this now, so yeah. I would like to pull up. But like I said, so you would say that they. They were inspiration. They inspired you. They they have yeah inspired me, and it's like and I just asked to join. I joined, and you know I'm like this is this is gonna be, this is gonna be what I do now, just for, sure. for now. And I mean, hey, I'm a poet for now, but I mean, of course, also just like what we talked about earlier, it's always good to be multi fascinated. Yes. Yeah, and just because you, so, yeah, just because you multi talented and multi, yeah, you, you ain't a poet for now. You're a poet forever. Yeah, mm. you know what I'm saying. Whenever right. you, whenever you come back, you, we just had a, a we, we just had somebody on the show that said they, they kind of stepped away for like ten years and they came back. I stepped away for a long time, but when it's in you, it's in you. You know what I'm saying? And so you're, you're never not what you were. You mm. know what I'm saying? And that's with life. Meaning, if you were something that people saw you as, it's even if you're not that person, it's still people who see you as that. So even if you're not that to you, it's somebody that's looking at you as the person they knew 10 years ago. You might not even be that person from 10 years ago, but you p- painted the picture of a 10-year-ago nigga. And now you're that 10-year-ago nigga forever to certain people because they, they they only know you from 10 years ago. They don't know you from now. So with that being said, um, you, you had inspiration. With inspiration... Um, comes have have you ever or do you have like people who inspired you other than you know i'm saying your group obviously like you said do you have people who inspired you that are artists or are musicians what music did you listen to coming up and you felt something in your body that was like you know what i'm saying uh people who made you people who made you think you had the who who gave sure, you sure. the 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 inspiration to say I could do that too? You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Like I said, I've always been a big I've always been a big rap fan. So growing up, I've listened to a lot of old school rap. Okay, talk to me. That I mean, talk I mean, to me. I want to like, hear who. I mean, I like old Jay Z. Okay, that's what I, I mean. Nah, you got oh, yeah. You got You got. Do you have a favorite Jay Z album? The Blueprint. But I feel like that's everyone well, who. And, who and, and some people who speak, and some people who. Hey, you got to remember you. You. I. I don't. I don't know your age or whatever. But you got to remember the blueprint is for a certain generation of people. It's some people that will say the unreasonable doubt. It's some people that will say the black album. It's you the know. Black album was good. Too, yeah, though. but. I think we're all three in a, in agreement that the first blueprint. Was was the, the turn my music? I, 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 we ain't even got to go because we. Yes, yeah. somebody in it said they like the unreasonable doubt, and that's cool because it. Hey, but beyond all that though, so you say a lot of old Jay Z, a lot of old Nas. It was so. It, it was. It was that. That's th- those the people who got you into your your uh, zone. Also, another. I've also. Oh Lord, I hate to admit this now, but yeah, I'm you don't have to hate to mention it because you never know who else. I've been a huge Eminem fan for a long time. You smoke and well, no, I'm not gonna disrespect you, cause but you're sitting next to Eminem man. You hear me? The greatest yeah. rapper of all time. Oh, the, 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 the 
the, the, so the, the you're best luck. Ever do it. Yeah. You're, yo, 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 you, you hate to admit it. Yeah, you. you why would you? Why would you, not, why would you not? Why would you not want to? It was a phase. It was. It was, a phase. A, it was not. It was him. It was. Well, it, it was. Eminem had. It was him. Eminem had a certain youth oh, and a yep. chokehold. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Eminem was. It was radio music. It was Eminem was and. I hate to say this, but I think we, I think we give, and I give rap credit to wherever rap is due and where I feel like rap is rapping or whoever's rapping. But one thing I will say too, I feel like we give white rappers. I feel like when we, it's certain things we hold standards to and we know, we know us can rap. We can rap. You talking about us can rap. You know what I'm rap. saying? We know our, our, our shade of people can rap. And to be honest, we know anybody can rap, but but everybody ain't got that rhythm, that right. soul, that, that and, and, and Eminem, yeah. Eminem was one of those. Certain, certain, yes. Eminem was one of those. He's one of those. He's he's. Let me tell you another reason why. It's uh, okay, I'm listening. Oh, okay, because Eminem just got me. That that's my that's my dog. Now, yes, no, no. I understand because I am a. I'm, I'm actually to be honest, it's not. I hate to admit it. I'm I'm still a I'm still a big Eminem fan. It's I've always respect his artistry. Now, like I said, growing up, it, it's my mom used to read to me a lot, and okay. my mom was also I appreciate also moms Eminem that fan. yes, my mom as well. I appreciate moms that <laughs> shout that, out to mom that, that did what they were supposed to do because we had a mom that did what she was supposed to do. Yes, my mom used to read to me, and I mean, it used to be some things that I'm like, wow, I don't. This shit scare me. Yeah. But <laughs> my mother used to make us read to each other. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. me, my sister, it's three of us. I'm the oldest. Yeah. It's it's him, my brother, precious, and we got a sister. And she used to make us publicly speak to each other and I publicly mean. read to each other. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy you just brought that up. Yeah. And like that's that's type of shit that falls into your like um in your subconscious. Oh, yeah. I forgot about yes. that. But like, yeah. You'd be like, I wow, think, where did this come from? On me, and I think that's important too. It took me because I I say over and over again. I think y'all probably even heard me say it at the gallery. Like I hate titles, I hate labels. Like I hate that we have to confide ourselves to these things. And then, like Boogie said earlier, sometimes you could have you could be branded a title. And like you said, being in PR and all that different type of stuff, now that shit stuck with you. Yeah, like yeah. you could totally not be that anymore, but because that landed with the audience, that's what you are. And so I think in a space of writing, public speaking, spoken word, poetry, all of it, it's having that ability to connect with others and resonate with others. So I ask you when. Did you think that that was something that you knew you wanted to do and share? Like you said, you had always been a writer in that right. space. And I know you mentioned college. You kind of start doing it, but like to a point that it was like, hey, you know what? Not only am I dope, so I want to share it, but I think other people can feel this. Like at what point do you think that that hits you? Man, again, it, w it was college. Okay. Um. Yeah, all this has to be like my junior year of college, and um, I remember attending this event with my two friends, and we talked about the event. Talked about I remember we had to like journal like a personal statement. Okay. I've always thought about my own personal mission statement. I've always thought about my own personal mission statement. And what I wanted in my own personal mission statement, I write, I write for me, and what I write, you know, it's it's a story that stories is 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 how people connect. We connect for a story, mm -hmm. uh, a certain story, whatever happened. Mm -hmm. I don't know, even a story that we read. Oh, me. It, it's we connect for that. A lot of people connect for the story. A lot of people, even with music, it's a story. I mean, and we feel it. So that, basically, I want people to feel where I'm coming from and be like, and I want people to, I want people to feel it, you know, and be mean. like, man, that's some, that's a real, like, man, I've been through this, that too, you know, it's like, that, that's right. a real shit. Real and, and I feel like that's yep. the most, and that's the that most, part. I think, I think that's what, I think that's what 
everything I write about is in relation. You know what I'm saying? Or well, it's it's, in, it's it concerns me. Everything everything I write about, um, it, it's about me. Um, it's about how I feel. It's about so when people hear it, and 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 when people tell me like they relate to it, I think that's what gets you going too. Cause it's like, bro, I felt that at that point. You know, we're not big time rappers. We're not big time. But we but we big time. To mm-hmm. us, to the people that know mm-hmm. us, to the people that feel us, to the people that, to the people that we're big time. You know what I'm saying? So when other people tell me like, I feel what you were saying, like that's how this shit be for real. You know what I'm saying? When people, when I I did the him poem and I was saying that people was like, I understood exactly what you did. You're him that 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 fucked up. You're him that made up for the fuck ups. You're him that. You're him. You're him. You're you're that person that we all are. You know what I'm saying? So for people to, so for people to relate to what it is that you're talking about, what it is that you're speaking about, what it is that you're doing your shit for, like that. That's one of those. That's yeah. That's one of those moments. That's one of those. That's that's what gets you to do it again. That's what gets you to come out again. That's what gets you to. You know, make new stuff, make come out, spit the same thing for a new crowd. Like that's what that's what gets you to to that's what gets you going when people relate to what you saying, and especially in the communities that we come up in, the 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 the, the city that we live in, the how, how just us Chicagoans are. When you hear it, it could be it could be. The same dude that you called a goofy back in the day, the same dude that you called a nerd, the same dude that you used to pick on the same, he gonna relate to what you was talking about because regardless what he doing versus what you doing, he know about it. Oh, it's happening. Yeah. He didn't went through it without even trying to go into it. You feel me? But it happened to him because of just where we at, because of the culture, because of the people, because of... It didn't happen to you if it wasn't supposed to happen to you. You know what I'm saying? And that's what helps us become stronger. That's what helps us. It, it just gives you an open mind that you got to be open to everything because, hey, at any given time, anything could come your way. Stuff that you've been through, stuff that you ain't been through, stuff that you 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 relate to through others. And you know what I'm saying? Like, so... And once again, that that's what that's what we trying to do here. We trying to shed light on all poets, all spoken word artists, every anybody doing anything to themselves that they consider anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. any, you know what I'm saying? If you doing it and you feel like it's a reason for you doing it, it's a reason for you to show other people that you doing it. That's why we're here. That's why we that's why we doing what we doing. We want everybody to we want everybody to be unshy. We want everybody to be able to talk. We want everybody to be able to express themselves. We want everybody to be able to tell people how they feel. You know what I'm saying? So I'm happy that you came tonight. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Because this is exactly what we are looking for. This is exactly the type of responses, the type of questions, the type of um, just energy that we're looking for. And with that being said, this is we. I feel like we need to come up with a name for this segment. Okay, bet we That's need to come works. up with a name. With the, our, the name they, will, 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 will we drop a name right now? Will we do? And this this got to be the name forever because we haven't came up with a name for this segment. We just mm. ask people to do their thing. You know what I'm saying? And we just so so. When we ask you to do your thing. I think that's uh, we gonna. I think we gonna name it that. Do your thing, and when when I when, when I say do your thing, it's because sometimes doing your thing it comes with mistakes, it comes with fault, it comes with insecurities, it comes with confidence, it comes with just do your thing, and that's what I feel like. That's what we gonna call it because we so, just we we want thing. you yeah we want you to feel comfortable. comfortable you know what I'm saying? So thing. if I tell you do your thing, I'm expecting you to do what you gonna do. You know what I'm do saying? What and whatever you don't, you didn't do. You feel me? And that's what you did or that's what you did not. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said. And that's you. And the, hey, hey, so with that being said, we got a very special guest. On me. On the very first 
do your thing. Do your thing. And that's what she's going to do once more of time. Can you tell them where they can find you? At the Chrissy Project again. That is Chrissy with the K. Big K. Capital K. Yeah. <laughs> Capital K. And if on you got a IG. IG on IG. And um, we appreciate you for coming. If you have a title for whatever it is that you're about to brandish, whatever you're about to uh hit us with, you can give us the title. And after you give us the title, you can go ahead and just get straight into the do you straight right. into the demonstration. Right. Hey, yeah. hey, real Duncan, if we could have some bomb drops ready or some uh some uh, some applause, <laughs> we'd appreciate you because she's the first person on do your thing. Do your motherfucking thing. Do your, hey. do your thing. And we hey, he hit you with some a confidence builder. That's the that's the crowd. That's the the soccer crowd, NFL crowd, the Beyonce crowd. That's the crowd for that's the crowd for you. On me. That's your do crowd. Your me. That's your crowd. So like I said, take your time and do your thing. I am going to No pressure applied. All right, let me get into it now. This, now this piece is called No Space. No Space. Mm. But at the end of the day, you still have space. Okay. You own the space, actually. Mm. I know I'm more. Like all that and a bag of chips, just the niggas I choose to fuck with make me feel less. Make me feel like my shape. I was told I was too small when they barely got it all. Nothing packing. They a mess. Mm. I try not to think about, but I got to write about how I let the wrong niggas waste my time. I will stay, but nothing progress, knowing I didn't belong. I wasn't chosen, but what did I lose? Mm. I was left frozen. I waited six times for a stupid dude. Guess he was looking for that one lens in his glasses. <sighs> waited another time for a cancer who didn't care about black kind. Chose to wind down, snow white on my time. Like white that first Gemini. Sleeping. Treated me nastier than black eyed peas. Just a side piece. I always expect a head. Never cared if I've been eight. Oh. That last man was just the same. Just as mean. Treated me just as man. <laughs> like I'm not the beautiful bad bitch I am. Uh. I got that when you told you didn't miss it. My boobs were too small. I didn't hold no weight. Did boobs. not allow my space to be in your space. So the thing is... Small, I am, but mm. baby, mm. I hold a lot of weight. Ooh. Solid, heavy, small, solid, small, but mighty. I deserve to be eight. Mm. Mm. I'm not gonna wait on no stupid two that can't fix his issues. I can't be misused. I know exactly what the fuck I bring. I am a lot. I am a lot to keep. A handful, all that in a bag of chips. But still, too many niggas in the seat be hounding me. Mm. Like I said, you can't find me on the Chrissy Project. You mm. will be hearing more from me. Mm. That's that ba, piece. Ba, ba, ba. No space. No space. Mm. Hey, and that was confidence. And I, hey, you said you not, you you be unconfident. You, you ain't you selling just, my you, boy on the shy. Yeah. You're not selling him on the shy. Yeah, he don't, yeah, you yeah. Not, I'm not sold on the shy. I'm not sold on, I'm not sold on the shy. But with that being said, these females been coming up here and rocking it. You know what I'm saying? These, these females be, these, these females be, be, yeah, yeah. Hey. I love it. I appreciate the voice, man. They I do this shit for real. Man. I really do appreciate the space, though. I really do. For I sure. Thank you guys for having me. Nah. Shout out to y'all. Shout, Shout out to us. Out to sure. Yeah. So for, for, with that, with the space, is Boogie O'Goon, him, him a thee, mm -hmm. him for knee, that guy. him the G, mm. him who doesn't hide, him who seeks, Founder. him with the shortest arms, him still with the longest reach. Mm. And we got my boy. Precious. With a precious perspective, per usual. And we love y'all. We thank y'all for, for coming through. And the Chrissy Project smoked it. Love y'all. Thank y'all. We appreciate you. And we out. <laughs>